Let's take you live right now to the westbound 401. Uh, it's closed, of course, in Whitby. OPP Sergeant Kerry Schmidt is giving an update. Let's listen live. Uh, we got reports of a sign down. Highway 401 westbound at Brock Street in Whitby. Uh, obviously, you can see behind me the uh, sign has completely collapsed. Witnesses reported seeing a full-size uh, transport truck with a box up. It was it was a uh, recycling or a scrap type uh, container uh, trailer that was lifted. Uh, the driver struck the sign, obviously causing it to buckle and collapse. The driver did stop right here where I'm standing, lowered the box, was last seen uh, exiting at Brock Street in Whitby. We are following up right now. We do know the name of the company. We're on, on our way to that location now. Uh, we are asking for that driver or company to call the Whitby OPP. We do have pile construction and uh, safety crews here right now working on removing this uh, sign. All traffic right now is being forced off at Thixon Road. The traffic that's stuck between Thixon Road and Brock Street are slowly getting turned around, uh, but it's been a couple hours already. I know people are getting frustrated. Traffic is still very slow, even on the eastbound side with everybody that's slowing down to take a look at the uh, at the distraction here on the westbound lanes but uh, obviously you know, we're thankful that there was no injuries no other uh, vehicles uh, got caught up in this it could have been absolutely deadly uh, right now the crews are working on securing the sign uh, figuring out where uh, the stability is so they can balance it and pull it off the highway we do hope to get a couple of lanes opened uh, in the next couple of hours but it will take some time to uh, get that sign taken off to the ramp here. Hopefully they can do that in a manner that will allow, uh, you know, some traffic to start rolling, but it will be heavy delays here uh, for the rest of the morning and into the afternoon. Not well, we're working on that in terms of the vehicles in between. They have been turning cars around for the last hour already, trying to get them back up to Thixon Road. You know, I know that intersection itself is jammed. Uh, you know, it, it can't handle that kind of volume coming off the 401, forcing all traffic in there. So we are working uh, with uh, uh, the regional police services here as well and the MTO to assist in traffic control. Hopefully we can get some traffic moving shortly, but obviously some of the larger trucks and the, and the double trailers aren't able to make that turn here on the 401. So uh, they may have to sit here and wait until we get some lanes opened. Can you speak to how kind of crazy the idea that someone could hit a sign that large and just drive off? Well, you know, we've seen this in the past. We've seen uh, dump trucks hit overpasses, uh, you know, and causing massive damage. Very often those trucks also uh, are damaged and aren't able to move. In this case, the driver was able to continue on their way after lowering the box. He knew or she knew what happened and you can see the damage that was sustained on that uh, sign itself. It is uh, plenty high enough for uh, clearance of any large vehicles, but when you have a 40 or 50 foot uh, trailer with the box lifted, uh, that's gonna obviously you know, be uh, interference uh, with those overhead signs and that's what we're dealing with here right now. Uh, you know, This kind of thing should never happen and I don't know how you can be driving down the highway with your box in the up position. Uh, you know, we don't, I don't know of any calls that were coming in reporting uh, this uh, vehicle prior to the collision. It happened around quarter to eight. Uh, it would have been daylight at the time and obviously don't know where uh, this uh, truck was coming from or where they were trying to go, but uh, we're on their way to the company now to have a talk with uh, with the company. Uh, obviously, uh, charges would be pending on this and the liability on this certainly is significant, but the inconvenience and the frustration for the motorists, uh, you know, that's what we <laughs> we understand is, uh, you know, at the top of mind for everyone who's stuck in traffic and we are doing our best to get this uh, to get these lanes reopened and get traffic moving again. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, yeah. That stuff is dropping. So. All right, that's an update from OPP Sergeant Kerry yeah. Schmidt. We're hearing that uh, effectively yeah. it's going to take them at least two hours to get that large highway sign uh, that blew down a couple of hours ago off the highway. And that, of course, is just going to continue the traffic headaches. Lisa Morales keeping her on the situation there. I mean, that's got to be the focal point of your work right now, Lisa. Yeah, absolutely, Nick. And it has been a frustrating drive, as Kerry was alluding to, uh, for those motorists stuck in that closure for the last uh, couple of hours at least. So this is a live look from the scene. The crane working on getting the over sign head, uh, uh, overhead sign, I should say, removed safely from the highway. And really, safety is key here. That's what we're talking about and focusing on. West 401 remains closed. Thicks into Brock Street. They are working on getting the motorist stuck in the jam, uh, turned around safely again and moved off the highway. You can see in the distance there uh, some vehicles again being turned around. So it is one of those situations that you just want to avoid. Save yourself the stress. Save yourself the headache. You can see eastbound has been slowing too. It is what we call a visual distraction. If you're looking at traffic,
traffic lingo for that purpose. Uh, but no lane restrictions at the moment on the eastbound side. And it is going to take time to navigate the situation and safely get everything and everyone off the highway. So your workarounds right now include the 407. We've been talking about Taunton and Rosalind. Any of the routes just directly north and south of the 401, don't even bother. Absolutely jammed. Thixon uh, itself through the 401, absolutely jammed as well. So you'd really just want to avoid the area altogether.